starting off with the home user, I mean, I think education is key. Um, I think the, the, the key thing there is to educate yourself as a home user. Um, make sure you know what to look for from a, from a provider perspective and that you know um, uh, just the basics really on, on how to ensure that what you are looking at or what you're using is, is, is truly legitimate. It usually doesn't take a lot of um, you know, legwork to, to work that sort of thing out. Um, but it's definitely education. From a corporate perspective, in my opinion, it's all about the risk. So whether you've, uh, you know, as a small business, it's probably a good idea to do a risk assessment based on your own data, not necessarily maybe the cloud uh, provider that you're looking at going for. Um, but once you know what you've got and you know what's really important to you, you can then easily decide, uh, you know, where you want to put what, do you want to back it up, do you want to use encryption, um, what technologies do you want to employ to make sure that your data is going to be available in the event of something happening with your cloud provider. And I think from a, from a large corporate perspective, it's really the same sort of thing. Uh, it's all related to risk. What is your business focus? Why does your business exist? How is the impact of either not having access to your cloud provider for whatever reason or not having access to data um, going to uh, expose you to issues uh, where you can't actually complete one of your business goals? Uh, I think those are the key, key things all about the risk. Okay. It's very simple. Educate yourself. Understand the options because there are options available. Understand your risks and based on that plan. A uh, small user may not have many, many options, but it's not a big cost. Large enterprise, you have many options. Decide what is critical for us to retain absolute control over. Understand what I'll rather focus on lower cost and are comfortable in trusting to my network provider or my cloud hosting provider. And finally, make sure that you have a trusted relationship with those people, that it is gives you a level of comfort. Otherwise, you will just be <clears throat> not sleep at night. I mean, that's the reality. <laughs> Thank you.